some of the key habits of a Christian that you might want to start implementing in your life if you've made a commitment to Jesus? Well, one key thing I've already mentioned in these videos is to pray, is to start to pray, because that's how this relationship grows and develops. And I really encourage you to press into prayer. Find a time regularly, uh, every day, just to pray with God. Chat to him as you're walking about or as you're driving, but begin to open up that, that avenue of prayer more and more. And you may want to start praying with other people as well. That's a good thing. Start to enter into the Word, that's the Bible. Start to read about Jesus more. You might want to start in the Gospels. Matthew or Mark is a great place to start. Mark's the, the shortest Gospel. They're the biographies of Jesus. And, and if we're Christians, we want to start growing into the likeness of Christ. So that's a great first place to start. And if you need help understanding or reflecting on Scripture, then it's also great to start joining communities or groups where you will be helped with that. A uh, great thing to do is to go along to church gatherings where often there will be a taught Bible component where that somebody will explain a passage of scripture and make it real and, and, and show you how it applies to everyday life. And you learn from that and you apply that in, your, in the week that follows and so on. You might want to join a home group or a small group where that same dynamic happens. You meet for, for friendship and socials, and, but also for growing in, um, in faith through the study of God's word, through praying for one another, through unpacking what it means to be a Christian today together. So I'd really encourage you to do that. You might want to meet up one-to-one -one with a, a Christian who you respect and who you feel has something you can learn from and, and who will impart to you. And you can just plunder their wisdom and their experience as you seek to grow yourself. You might also want to join a team. I really encourage you to get stuck in to some area of what we call ministry. That means um, using your gifts to bless others, to share the good news of Jesus with others. And that happens in all different shapes and sizes. And that's one of the wonderful things about the community of God is that he has given us these gifts and he helps us to use them to bless others and to build a better world and to, uh, to bring his kingdom here on earth. And I'd also encourage you to keep on seeking, keep on pursuing God Get hungry for him, read books, listen to podcasts, watch YouTube videos that are going to help you to grow and develop as a believer. All of these things are really important. Begin to put into practice what you're learning, apply it in your life, and you'll see that God starts to transform you more and more into the likeness of Jesus in your own unique way. And that's a hugely exciting thing. If you want to find out more, if you want to have a chat with, with me about what that might look like, I'd love to hear from you, I'd love to get in touch. And we can sit down and plot together about how uh, your next steps might unfold.